Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric the Stare today, playing Ark Survival Law. Finally, the uh, bear and the manta ray was finally released. It took long enough for the dang thing. I have spawned one in because apparently on the real servers, in my opinion, they're glitched. They are also being unnotified on the forum about this. It is glitched because I tried taming a level 44, had it almost done, and a little bastard decided to go to zero again. So, huzzah. Completely wasted a 45 minute tame because of how it had long it took me to find it and how long it took for me to get it. It's supposed to be only for a max level 120. It says, let me look it up real quick. I actually have it on here. For a 120, you are looking at about, this is estimations, it says 31 minutes. And 120, 131 angler gel. It is. A very, very good amount of gel. I would recommend going with a Dunkelos if you have one. If not, go with your Mosa or your other thing to farm it. It's not very hard. Or you can do a Shark. It, it doesn't matter. They're not that strong, but they it's easier to get it with a higher attack and higher destruction. I know. Also, do not put points in the health. Here's the stats. These are not the base stats. Do not put any... I, I forced him to 180. Well, 120. Which would tame out at 180, but they won't tame out at 180 on the server for some reason. They're much lower. So, either way, without the bonus levels, what you want to do is pure speed. Because they don't get that much bonus in health, even at max level. They don't get that much bonus in melee. You have to attack with the stinger, from what I've noticed. They don't attack with their mouth, which is normal. I mean, I can look at the animation here. Let me see if I can get underneath. But yeah, it looks like they will attack with their mouth because they get the little pincher things right there. But I swear, it, when I hit them, with everything else. Here's the nice little uh, coloration. The graph's pretty good. Sorry, Raph. I mean the saddle is pretty good. I mean I like how it looks. Uh, when you swim around above the surface and stuff, it'll uh, do a little water jet ski type of thing. They are very fast, so. My hugest recommendation is putting it purely in speed. I mean, there's no point to put it in anything else. They do jump. Whee! They are very fun to play with, I will agree. Woo! Now, I got told this, and I want to see this as this is true. I don't know if this is a glitch. Um, I heard this was a glitch on the official... Whoa! Holy crap! They need to fix that. Like, damn. That is a huge glitch. Okay, do not bring your guy to dry area on land almost. Holy frick, it'll instant kill it. I will be eventually taming one on the real server. Is that a tamed one or is that a wild one? I have a wild Melmosa right next to my base. I have no clue. Why it's not attacking? It's got to be stuck or something. Um, They're pretty fun. They were found around the island. I, it seems you can pillar them in. Like, you can get lucky and tame them. Somebody's done this. They made a pin. I've also done this because someone's base was in the water. So what I did was I put pillars around it. And then I just locked it in place, let it calm down. This force-fed it the angular gel. I don't know why they're glitching out, why my uh, little mana ray, oh shoot, I'm dying for some reason. Why am I dying? I'm not starving, I'm not hungry, uh, it's freezing. Really? Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, nope, no. Get him in a pickle here. to the shore. <sighs> Sucks when you don't have instant. Uh, that's a huge glitch. I mean, there's no reason any dino should have that. I don't even know why they programmed it like that. Let me see if I can do something. And they raised the level up. Uh... Alright, I'm healing up. Sheesh. There's no reason to have that. 
there's no reason in hell that you should have a dino in a game that is programmed to die instantly when going upon shore. I, I will not be taming this unless it gets fixed on the official servers. If Unless I do tame it and it's going to be put into my one base that's underwater completely. Because that's not fair to players who say they have a small bait, like a little river area. And you can say, well, they can build a bigger one. That's fine. But when you have a guy that can instantly die, if you fuck up and swim too fast near your base, I've done that many times where I've swum my dolphin's head fast way out of the water because of how fast it goes. My better big issue is how big is the torpor on this guy? I didn't even look. Uh, 13,200. Looks like... Let me see something. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Killed him. That's ridiculous. Eats a beat, you stinking thing. They don't regen in hell too fast. I mean, not to be rude to the devs, but... I mean, they're a cool little addition, but honestly, the dolphin didn't seem to do more or worse. I would love to know, you know, in the comments below, if anybody wants to post it, if they've got one of these on the officials. I recommend going after low level, like I said, so in case it does glitch out. Um, I would love for someone to post if they're good at gathering pearls or whatever. I mean, I can, t let me see, I tamed, force tamed it, so I don't know if I can get the dossier. I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't tame it, so I can't get the dossier. I'm wondering if if like the black pearls it can get it faster or weird I don't get why it's I guess because it puts me fully out of the water oh. every time he goes up and down Off him because I need to get to the shore again. I don't have infant stats on, even though I know I'm in single player. I really hate using single player to show off stuff, but with the bugs going on and with that glitch going on, I really worry about taming it on the official server and instantly dying. I'm gonna go find one, but it ain't gonna be a 180 or a 120, it's gonna be a low level. And I may test it against them, but currently I still believe the best farming method is either Dunkelosaurus or the Dolphin for for just taming the for getting the Black Pearls. I mean, there's no point in you going underneath and getting a Sarco. There's no point in getting a Shark and going after them. It's just there's no damn reason. I mean, if you can have a high level Dolphin with a high level Saddle and get the Black Pearls. And all the black it uses the stamina, not the torpor. And the Dunklosaurus is slow as hell. You got speed on the dolphin. You've got if you got the saddle and a high level dolphin, easy to tame, and a shit ton of easy ways to freaking not die and get other loot crates while you're down there too. So I mean, it, it's a I guess a race thing. I guess you can have fun with races, but other than that, it's a nice addition, but. Eh. It's not going to fit my forte. Don't get me wrong. Uh, give me your opinions on what you guys think on this because I'm at a loss on if it's that good. And I'm... <laughs> Let me Let's see if I can stay this in. Nope. <laughs> I just like it's typing infinite stats on. There we go. Typed it in finally. <laughs> but yeah, that's my opinion, guys. Uh. I will officially do the Dire Bear t uh, tomorrow, and if you guys want me to, which I probably will do, I'll do the chemistry table. I'll put it in my cool mansion. And I'll see you guys, but this is the end of this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.